Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are going to continue with Abyss, the Wraiths of Eden, which I think I spelled... Oh no, I spelled it right in a couple places. I forgot the the in a couple places. Dang it. Well, close enough. Jellyfish. I'm rambling now. Okay, Abyss, the Wraiths of Eden. And apparently our husband, boyfriend, something like that, went missing on a scuba trip a couple of days ago and we are trying to find him and in looking for him we discovered an underwater art deco city that appears to be abandoned but really there's still people there and there's some sort of possession going on and some sort of resistance and i think <laughs> something like that and i think the last thing we did was blow up a door to a hotel? I think? I can't remember. That's the last thing I remember. So let's see what happens from here. Okay, so we blew up the gate and now we think was his name? Robert is stuck in the hotel as a prisoner and that apparently is where the bad guys live. So... Let's use our flashlight that we haven't used yet. <laughs> Robert! You have been warned. Oh, that ended quickly. For a second, I thought the credits were gonna roll. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh no, I can barely move. I'm bound to the wall by some vines with an iron grip. All right, I mentioned this before, but if you're gonna go scuba diving, do not have your jewelry on the outside of your scuba gear. I found a new item, a post. The vines seem to catch anything that comes within their reach. Okay. Well, I still have my flashlight. Yay! Weird. Okay. Why is there dishes right here and why am I trying to acquire them? Where's that little scoop do? A ladle. I couldn't have just found a ladle. Alright, move so I can see what it says. Come on. Thank you. The vines are tightening their hold on me every second that passes. How will I get rid of them? I don't know. It seems this green fluid is quite toxic toxic for those vines. Okay. You are standing straight up. There's something on the floor in front of you and you have a ladle you're not going to be able to reach. Oh, it's catching it as it drips. Okay, that's fair. Oh, Robert. Free yourself. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Go away. Oh, I can click on them. That's good to know. I don't want to. I have to free him from those vines. I know! Let's use that green fluid that we just used! Yeah! We have to get more. Where's where's the green drippy stuff? Not over here. Hang on, I'm gonna look for that green drippy stuff. Nope. Oh, there it is. She actually did a good thing! It, I, I kind of don't think so. She hasn't actually used that word. I 
didn't know how dangerous this would be. And I'm sorry to have involved you in this mess. I've had a nightmare. I saw the demon. It was trying to get inside my head. And it told me that I'm the chosen one. Mm. I don't know what's going on. I'm so weak and tired. Okay, it didn't work the first time. Like, nobody came. I only came because I was being stubborn, not because the help signal worked. Okay. I'm gonna steal your knife. And I guess you're just gonna sit there. Too heavy for me to carry. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, now what's going on over here? This knot looks Gordian. It will be easier to cut it than untie it. Okay, if you want to use it as a hose, that's not super helpful. Seems only a few structural elevator rods are still intact. I guess this goes here? Alright, let's see what's over here first. Oh! Okay. There's something hidden under the newspapers. I don't have any change. I don't think that warranted creepy music. We could use the boat to leave this place if only I could find the missing rod. Okay, so we need a rod thing. The barrel's not leaking poison anymore. It must be empty. How convenient. I only hope that they're not suffering. You're not going to cut them down too? Rude. Oh, I went down the hole. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks like a fan, but I'm not sure it serves the same purpose. Okay. You just gonna stand here? right now. Please don't let the lights go out. Hmm? Oh, that really is a face only a mother could love. Is a zombie. Happened? So I found out while I was editing this, the first episode earlier today. So it's L-E-G-A-T. Do you know how you pronounce that? Leg it. Yeah. Whoa. I think I need a new one if I want to restore the light. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just need to find these things? That's fine. Oh, I hear kids. They have a sad, because there's monsters keeping them imprisoned. Star-shaped conductor. Please help us. The lock's broken and we can't open the gate. Find our Uncle Greg. He'll help you. He always does. Here's the remote. It opens the manhole in the main hall. You'll find him below, in the hideout. Tell him we'll never, ever disobey him again. <laughs> yeah, the animation's not great. I need a new blade. And tape. Okay. 
It looks like we can forget about calling for help. It didn't work the first time. Like it literally didn't work. Is there more light in here now? Yes. Can I do anything else? No. Okay. Oh, what's happening to him? Something horrible is taking him over. I mean, you're the one that left him there. Only hope they're not suffering. I don't know, it looks like he's suffering, lady. Bolt cutter! Greg, I heard that the Leggets are planning to use this place for some special purpose, so we better not use this contact box any longer. From now on, only use the one near the fountain. I guess not. Okay. Can't we, like, cut him out? I bet the bolt cutter would work. Uh, all right, let's go back out this way. Oh no, we're locked up. How did that happen? Yeah. Okay, we're back here again. Yeah. That must be the cover those kids were talking about. You think? Huh. Rotate the plates so they all point at the central gem with the gems of the same color. Huh. Oh, it's another one where I have to turn them. Anybody else noticing how they hate this puzzle? Yeah. <sighs> like what you're supposed to do is put them like halfway in between so that when you you get them where they need to go, they turn the right way. Like that, see. Except I'm dyslexic and terribly bad at see, I even did it the wrong way again. It needs to be that way. <sighs> nope. Good puzzle if you don't want anyone breaking into your place. I'm not sure how you managed to get in here, but I'm glad you made it. The twins are in the hotel vault? Does this mean the Albion is open? We've no time to waste then. I'll carry Robert if you'll go rescue the twins. If we're lucky, we'll have time to free the others. Look around. If you find something useful, just take it. We'll meet in the hotel. Okay. This game has surprisingly well thought through people who are making decisions that make sense. Yes. Yes, it was. I need dropper to collect the glue. Optical LTD that will make your futures shine. Photography electronics. Those prisms seem to be quite useful. Okay, I guess we need prisms. Rubber shoe, crowbar, timer, spool, spray, ladle, barrette. Eden. Oh, and there's this thing. I need that. Give me that. That's one of the things I need. Don't get the boat. Looks like a tasty spice. Looks like chili powder. And spray. Man, a lot of this stuff looks useful. What is that? Is that a scoop? Oh, that's a, um, uh, a potato peeler. The part that I thought was the handle was the, uh, part that was actually the, um, the peely part. Why do I... Spice fish, huh? That's a little weird. 
timer and spool. Found a crowbar! Yay! I found that stupid thing too. You wouldn't let me take that. The hatch is locked. There's no time to be wandering around. I need to find some tools to free the children. Oh, right. Saw blade. I want to keep that crowbar. That's a lot of weirdly shaped saw blades. Of course, they won't let me keep the thing. Wait, is this the key for this? Nope, okay. Huh. Alright. Great. The barrel of herbicide is empty. I'll have to send somebody out to find another, so we can free the other captives here. In the meantime, I have to get Robert to the hideout. He's running a serious fever and needs antibiotics badly. I'm afraid we're short on supplies. But go get the twins, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. The people in this game seem to have logic, which is not normal for these games. I appreciate that. Oh, tape. All right. That would make a lot more noise than that. Those things are loud. Oh no, she hurt her foot. Do I have any bandage stuff now? I see a med kit inside the safe. One clam lacks a pearl key. Oh, it's, oh, it's a pearl. Okay. Should have checked for antibiotics too, but it's a first aid kit. Oh, is that antibiotics? Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. I thought that was like spray on antibiotic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we've got to get out of here before more red eyes come. We'll meet you at the hideout. All right. I guess we're just leaving. No need to escort the kids. What has happened here? What do you mean, what's happened here? He took- oh. What happened here? I mean, there's blood and stuff. It's not generally good. There's no blood out here, though. I don't know why we don't walk with them. We're go both going to the same place. Where's Robert? I'm afraid we have a serious problem. Robert is slowly coming under the demon's possession. The poison in his veins will turn him into a legate. He attacked me in the Albion, and I've had to tie him down to the bed. He's through the door behind me. Go give him the antibiotics. That should at least take care of his fever. As for his other illnesses, we still need to find a solution. I told you. I bet you didn't believe me. Robert's burning up. He needs medicine now. Darling, I'm so sorry. I never thought this expedition would turn into such a nightmare. There must have been something in those vines. Some drug or poison. My mind has cleared, but I still feel so weak. I never wanted to be a burden to you. I need some sleep. That is correct. I'm sorry I haven't introduced myself. My name is Loggain. Gregory Loggain. But you probably already knew that. I was trying to contact you, but I couldn't reveal myself till the legates were near. Robert's condition is very serious. And honestly, I'm not sure how to help him. The only person who might have known how to help a demon's victim 
was the professor, but he disappeared long ago. You could go to the Center of Enlightenment to search for his notes. He was an enigmatic sort, loved secrets and riddles, so his notes are probably well hidden. What's worse, the elevator is broken and can't reach the lowest level. I tried to repair it, but I encountered Leggett's before I found enough prisms. Take this one. Maybe you'll have more luck than I did. In the meantime, I'll look after Robert. He's in critical condition and shouldn't be left alone. Yes. Logic in a game. I love it. What is this? Missing a dragon. Ooh, a baseball. Bottle caps. Okay. Uh, I guess there's nothing else in here. Yeah, we can't leave him. That would be rude. Okay, I need two prisms. I also need that staff thing. But you're not gonna let me have that. Alright, what so what do I have now? What is this? A photo key. Is that this was a photography shop? <laughs> you're terrible. Oh look! This is one of those games where you can go back to search things, but the stuff you took is already gone. So you're just removing more and more stuff the more you're here. I love those types. It doesn't happen very often because that actually makes it easier to go through the puzzles, but I like them because not only is it slightly easier, but also it's sort of like you're cleaning and I don't really like cleaning, but I like things to be organized. <laughs> All right, so clothespin, submarine, dropper, glasses, bottles, scales, skull, tree. There's skull, and the tree, and the fishy. I don't know what that was. Oh, that, that was a submarine? I thought that was a lighthouse. And a pipe. I need to fill the beaker with a liquid. Okay. I need to light the burner. I'm just gonna leave the matches there. That's weird. Okay. Sure. I need something sharp. You can open an envelope without something sharp. Heaven's sakes. Glasses, bottles, scales. And where's the bottles? Glasses, yes? You can't open a zipper without a pull tab. It's funny because right now the pull tab broke off my purse and I've been having to use my finger just to open it back and forth and it's such a pain in the butt. But it's, it's not actually impossible. It's just annoying. Which is not the same thing. Oh, this is to get this out. Cool. Thought that was a different shape, but cool. Uh, how do we, this is over here. Hello, thank you. Oh, okay. That's fair. Um, make me do it manually, huh? Okay, now we get the prisms. They weren't colors. Wait. Prismatic conductor. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was where the thing was, but I don't know why I thought that. Place the mirrors so they connect, so they conduct the beams of light to the appropriately colored uses. All right. Well, that's obviously not correct. And you need to go die. Okay. You have to do that way. You have to do that way. You have to Yes, okay. Um, that one. This one. That one. That one. That one. There we go. Ta-da! The elevator should be able to reach the bottom floor now. Awesome. Imagine if the elevator had to stop at each floor. Oh, we're underwater now. This place is completely flooded. 
No duh. Well, I mean, we're in a scuba suit. Professor Liam McKenna for wanted for conspiracy against the new order. It lacks a blade. Oh, dang it. It lacks a blade. Someone must have dropped the box and sank all the tools in the mud. Okay, so I guess I need a magnet to pull the tools out. Some strong foil blocks the way up, which I will need the knife to cut. It's Octopus! Hello, Octopus. Come here, Octopus. It's too far from the hole to reach with my hand. Yeah, you were just talking about eating octopus, which is, in fact, yummy. It's... okay. The... A what? Object the Arch? Or Arminus Guardian? Is that a thing, or did they just spell it wrong? Huh. Personal metal detectors should be kept in the locker. Always keep your keys with you or keep them in the locker. All IDs should be verified twice. Okay. I can't fit my arm through the pipe opening. Oh, to get whatever that is. Huh, what does it mean? Is it just like an art object? It's stuck beneath the gate. Um, this didn't give me any new information. Huh. Interesting. Th this didn't give me any new information or items. So... Now what? Still can't get in there. Can't do anything with him. This guy... is stuck. Well, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. Alright, let's go back up. No, oh, this way. Where's my map? Action available. Reception. Really? Is this gonna take me down or up? Dang, nabbit. It's a poor way to design an elevator. I think it's only three floors. Okay. Uh, we've got a poster. And this. Which we need a magnet for to find the blade so we can cut this. Is there something here I'm missing? No. There's the octopus in there, and the keys I can't reach. And this is stuck underneath the gate. And I can't get my arm in there. Oh, wait, there's the blade. So the magnet must be for something else. Okay. center of the enlightenment that Logan was talking about. An octopus. It certainly looks like one. Look at the octopus. Look at the octopus. I bet it's going to look familiar. What is this? A fish. Pole extends into the ceiling. I can never <laughs> escape. I mean, this came out in 2012, so. Looks like Poseidon, master of the waves, but isn't he missing something? Yeah, why is he holding his pinky finger out, too? I can't reach the shelf from the floor. Ooh, a knife. Nice. And we're missing a book. This guy like carving his initials into stuff, didn't he? Oops. Professor's study is locked. 
That's not a giant surprise. So what did I get out of that? A cane. Oh, I bet I can get the keys with that. Yep. Ew. Dead bodies are gross. Wait. Oh, he landed on the floor. Oh, I guess I can't use the cane to get that. Seems like I should have been able to, though. This is probably the key to the door. Cool. I want a window like that. It seems someone has removed three of the keys. That's a weird thing to do. Oh, he's holding a conch. Okay. But he was just being very prim and proper. Ooh, more of the poison stuff. And a film projector. Okay. Crates nailed shut. If only I had a crowbar. A magnet. It looks like the one I saw through the window below. One what? Oh, the octopus. There must be a cure. I have to find it. I hope you did. A dummy book in a study full of scientific tomes. That's weird. Eh. Extremely light sensitive. Fears very bright light. I guess the octopus is a bad guy. I mean, I guess. It was. They, it's not like they had a lot else to do down here. Let's see. So now what do I have? Oh, I have the book. Stop that. Alright, you are a mermaid lady. I think. There we go. There's his crown. Okay. And we got a magnet. Oh, that's for the thing here. Really? That doesn't work. It means I have to find like a broom or something because heaven forbid I get my hands dirty. I mean, I'm underwater. I'm probably wearing gloves. <sighs> Very frustrating. Greg, I think I found a cure. I know how to undo this demonic possession. I've hidden my notes and posted the ruler of the seas to guard them. You'll need to gather his accessories and put them in the right place. Follow my initials. Yep, see, I was right. I was right. This octopus appeared on every steampunk accessory on Etsy for a while. At least it seemed like it. Strange, there's no visible way to open this box. Okay. Oh, here you are. Let's see, give you the magic conch. And I guess this is parts of the trident. Yeah, okay, so I need to find two more. And I found the emerald eye. Wait, wrong way. This shackle lacks its pin. What is this? A metal detector? Oh, that's for the dirt. I mean, a magnet would have worked just as well. Wait, can't I just take all of the things? I guess I'm only allowed to take stuff that goes with that. All of these things look super useful. Well, except the car. The key looks useful. Why can't I have the key? I just realized they were pictures down here. <laughs> P 
pliers. Why do I need pliers? I did that. That's not gonna need pliers. Oh, that needs a fishy. Oh, this is for the nails. It's a nail puller. Yep. If only I had a crowbar! Ooh, fishies! Wait, what am I doing? Move the objects around to find the fish skeleton pieces. Oh, okay. No, stop that. This game is really sensitive to be having stuff picked up. There's part of it. Alright, now we move you guys back over. Oh, sorry, too far. Sheesh. Seahorse says, You're really sensitive to. <laughs> you are such a dork. Why are there dog bones in here? That is like a doggy chew toy. Dogfish. <laughs> yeah, I know, I can see them. I only have to move one thing, but I want to move all of the things because I'm, I, I have problems. I don't necessarily have OCD, but I really, really, really like to do things in a specific order. But OCD is different because you don't do OCD because you like things in a specific order. You do OCD things so that you are not... That was not what I expected. So bad things don't happen to you or people you love. Bizarre. Huh. Okay, don't touch. Psh. Trident part, anglerfish, sea spider, swordfish, Gator eye, sea snake, lantern, and sponge. And a lobster and a fossil and sea flowers. That's a fossil. Hey, a puffer fish. Fragile. What do I need this for? I don't know what I need that for. Alright, what am I looking for? Don't touch. Don't touch? No, that's don't touch. I mean, you shouldn't touch that other thing either. Trident part. A tooth, and an eyeball, an octopus. Oh, that's the fossil. I knew that. There's the trident part. A sea spider. I think that's a crab. Swordfish. A sea snake. Sea snakes are very poisonous. Just FYI for those who love snakes. Uh, what else am I looking for? A lantern. I saw is right there. Oh, I'm supposed to water the flowers. Those are anemones. Anemones don't live outside the water. They die. I keep wanting to think this is the snake, but that's not a snake. That's octopus. There's a flying fish. Sea snakes usually have really bright colors, too. Huh. Oh, he is there! I thought that was part of- that's also not a sea snake. That's a I forget what they're called. Is a type of snake that curls up in a little ball. What? What is that? That looks like a whale or something. I keep wanting to say boa constrictor, and that's not it. Ball python. It's a ball python that balls up in a little ball. Obviously. It's got an ounce of lighter fluid left in it. Okay. That all that's up here. Oh no. Oh no, I already looked at this. Alright, a fishing net. What am I fishing net for? Oh, to get the thingy out of the plant killer. Didn't we need plant killer? Wasn't that one of the things we were looking for? Like, that looks kind of heavy, but we should probably figure out a way to take it with us, shouldn't we? To save the people still trapped in the plants? Nice. Another rock. Demon figurine. Carefully, careful study of the writings found in Shaft 3 reveals that the figurine found in the shaft is some kind of a cult container designed to imprison an evil deity, a demon, like Cthulhu. Actually, he looks like an Elithid, not a Cthulhu. 
The container has eight powerful seals that keep this demon locked inside. It seems that one seal was accidentally broken, allowing this foul creature to escape and bend human minds to its will. Obedient, obedient automaton. The chosen one, for what purpose? Demon's host. The demon needs a human host if it wants to escape its prison. And not just any host, it will choose to possess the human who will best serve its evil purposes. According to the writings found in the sarcophagus, it's possible to stop the transformation. The incense ingredients. Okay. Lux Fidi? I don't know what that means. Where can I find them? Greenhouse complex? The writing describes a special rite that can be conducted to destroy the demon once and for all and free all the possessed. I'm going to the depths of Shaft 3 to search for more information on the right. I will end this madness where it began. Shaft 3. Oh, that's Shaft 3. Okay. I guess I don't want to take the paper with me, huh? Okay. So I need bark and a flower and a piece of sushi, maybe? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like some antique flash. Flash powder and a lighter. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, oh, now we have a slide. Is that supposed to be a whale in the background? Because it is not whale sounding. This man surprises me. That's cool. Looks like the perfect container for for the prepared incense. Okay. So we need resin bark and a flower called the Light of Hope. There's a secret door. Now I just need to get the ingredients. Look, matches. I could take the matches with me. I need matches. Garden shears. Well, I guess we probably need them in the garden. Let's see, where does the map want us to go? Yep, okay. Except we can't get there from here. We have to walk back. This game does not have fast travel. It's so weird. I'd gotten used to the water for a second and coming back without the water. It very weird for some reason. I mean, we weren't in the water in the in the study either. Oh. Crayfish, squirrel, spider, lizard, sickle, glove, heart, rose, and a lunchbox, and a corkscrew. Huh? I don't know what I need that for. I found the spider though. Let go. And the crayfish. Oh, that wasn't the crayfish. That was a fish fish. That's the crayfish. Right, and there's a frog. Oh, and the fish. There's probably a froggy in there. Sickle, rose. Is that a fish? Yes. Lizard, dragonfly. Oh, there's a bottle. Secret note. Squirrel, heart. Oh, there's a squirrel. Glove and a Pegasus, huh? Glove. Pegasus. Oh. Bark. Bark, bark. Ha ha ha. Ooh, we get to make pictures. Okay. So let's see. You are crying, and you get and you have a flower. And you have a flower. You have a flower. Ta da! The orange tree? Organ? Orange? There are some weird words in this game. Orangery. Artificial rain supply. That's pretty cool. 
This one's history, or even prehistory. Ha ha ha. Aqua systems. Oh, that's for the fountain. The water filter is missing. It's also really dirty. Light of hope. Lux Fide... Fide... Light of hope. A fitting name for such a beautiful flower. I need the one that's blossomed. Apparently the weather conditions are set improperly. Nutshell crumbs? <gasps> it's a squirrel! <laughs> He's so cute. I will need the Lux... Can we just not use that? The flower as soon as possible. Please bloom one for me. Watch out for the leggets. I think they may suspect something. All right, we're missing some switches. And what is there a picture of? I don't have anything like that now. Okay. And there's a squirrel. Oh, you have the thingy. So we need some some tasties for the squirrel. No, that's just that. What is that? A fridge rag. There's a knob frozen in the ice. I need a way to pick it out. That is a very, very, very solid piece of refrigerator. Okay. We needed a flower and bark. Wait, what was this? Oh, yeah, we did that already. Flower and bark and something else. I don't remember what. But maybe it's over here? Oh, I still need a drill bit for that. It's a dead end. This is where I need the drill bit. Right. So now what? Where am I? Okay, so I have to go back to the flower room? Really? Okay. This one's history or even prehistory. Am I supposed to use a solvent on this? I don't get it. It's- oh, it's glued to the floor. How come it didn't tell me that last time I clicked on it eight times? Now I have an Allen wrench. Why do I need an Allen wrench? That is a very fashionable squirrel. I'm going all the way back to the fountain. Okay. To fight Alan. <laughs> We're such a dork. Aha! Let's see. Bottle opener, drink coaster, maple syrup, ice tongs, umbrella, ice pick, grapes, hand, caps, hat. There's a lampshade and a dead light bulb. Maple syrup! What's this? Morning journal, huh? Okay. Wine list? It's turned off, okay. Are those candies? They kind of look like candies. There's radio. Honey dipper. There's an ice pick. We need that. Ice tongs. This is not an umbrella. This is a fan. That's a hat. And what else am I looking for? Bottle opener, umbrella, grapes. Hand and caps. Oh, bottle caps. Oh, there's a baby umbrella right next to the fan. I knew that. Let's see. So we need a bottle opener and a hand. Which is a weird thing to be looking for. That's a bottle opener, even though it looked like a bell. Where's the hand? Oh, clock hand. I knew that. The filter is fastened in place. Oh, this is the filter we need too. Awesome. I don't need anything else down here, do I? I'm going this way. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got the filter. Is that just putting seawater in? Because you can't use seawater on things. You know that, right? Rain, wind, and sunlight all at the same time, huh? Awfully picky. And what else did I get? Oh, I got the bark. Yeah, that that's not how that works. Oh my goodness. Gross. Hide the stone. The le Leggets are looking for it. I'll get it from you as soon as it's safe. They fridged him. Literally. If I melt it, it'll melt if I take it like that. Okay. I guess we don't want the ice to melt. Right. Wait, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Now it's windy and rainy. Still not happy, huh? Ah, yeah. uh, drill bit. That was in this section over here. A drill! And now we have sap! Oh, that was the other thing we needed. Sap. Resin. Right. Okay. Wait, did I need anything else over here? Oh! Oh, it's the creepy kid! I've heard you met my twin cousins and my dad. He's really impressed by what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given us hope. With your help, we might just make it out of here alive and human. I'm sorry what I said earlier. I knew I could believe in you. I was just scared. Okay, creepy girl. Right. Well, let's get the flower and then go back and make the whatever else it is. Here we go. Wait, stop it. Come on. Come get the nuts. Come on. That squirrel does not move like a squirrel. That is all kinds of creepy. I wouldn't have left that right there, but... Light! Yay! I have all the ingredients now. All right. Now we are going back to the basement. Wasn't she possessed earlier? Shouldn't we be concerned about that? That octopus is big. It's a big octopus. He does not seem happy. Big and yummy. <laughs> Alright. Stop! Okay, so first we grate the bark. Okay. And then we use a chisel on the resin, which... Oh. Resin chisel! It says it right there! Oh, I guess I have to finish this first. Um, it's perfectly graded. I should add the scoop later. Well, like... Don't be a butt. I can crumble something here. Do I have to start? You didn't tell me to light the candle. Psh, you did not tell me to do that. And then I put it in the mortar and pestle. 
and smoosh it. Okay, good. And then I get tweezers and... Flower, tweezers, petals! These directions are not in correct order. Oh, I need three of those. I also can't read. <sighs> I just figured that out. However, it does say I should do this first, so... All right. What's your game? He's a bad guy. He wants to get you. Octopus! Um, that's not good. Alright, sea cucumber, flying fish, telescope, another octopus, sea rod, sea salt, fragile amber, amber, shark, and an egg. Well, there's the shark. <laughs> they did puffer fish got puffy. That's adorable. Hi. <laughs> um, fragile, amber, aha. Uh -huh. Let's go key for the box, I guess. Aluminum, okay. Sea cucumber. Egg, that is a big egg. All right, a flying fish I saw, there he is. A sea, what is this supposed to be? That's sea salt, apparently. What the heck's a sea rod? Like a hook? No. Oh, okay, that must be a type of coral. Flash powder ingredients. Okay. Um, there's a small hole in the globe. Well, I don't have anything to fit in the small hole. You're just gonna let me do this, huh? Not a very good octopus. Nobody asked you. Why is it so hard for it to catch that I'm picking stuff up? That's very irritating. All right. And then I need the thing out of here. So we need flash powder. And a lighter. Oh good, I thought we were gonna light it. That would defeat the entire purpose. <laughs> Say cheese! Ha <laughs> ha! Say cheese, that was the thing. Octopus must have forced its way through this. Alright. Um, oh, we need to go see. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way. That way. Have you brought the insects? Back up, kid. Hurry, give him the medicine before he gets any worse. Good plan. He should be okay now, but he has to rest. Go find my father, and I'll watch over Robert. Weren't you the possessed kid? If only you were here when it all began. 
Never mind. You're here now. With the cure you've made and the herbicide my daughter brought, we should be able to free all the people in the Albion Hotel. But it's not enough. We'll all be the demon's puppets soon if we don't escape Eden. I'll go and free the prisoners. You, go prepare the boat. I've stashed a key to the Albion's marina in the wardrobe. Take it. We'll meet at the hotel. These NPCs are so much better at being NPCs than any other game I've played. Ha! Now I got it. Stupid thing. Magnifying glass, electric shock, crackers, padlock, lettuce, spatula, recipe, honey, carrot, brush, bread. That looks like a pancake, or a uh, waffle, rather. There's a cake, and honey, crackers, and don't get electrocuted. I want that. Do I need this? No, what am I looking for? Magnifying glass, padlock, lettuce. Yeah, I know. Padlock. I, at least I assume so. Bread. You should wrap the bread or it gets stale. Especially with that type of bread. I'm going... Where am I going? I'm going this way. Yes, I'm going this way. Oh no, there's wreaths. Okay, now what? I can't believe it. We were so close. I guess that leaves us only one option. Shh, you're kidding me. That's Oops. crazy. But it might just work. I'll go out and... No, you should stay with Robert. You know how to treat him now. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> we're gonna go... Just as soon as I figure out how to lift that heavy-duty door blocking the shaft entrance. Here, take this key. It opens the hatch to the lab below our hideout. We've kept it closed because of the smoke, but I seem to remember an air jack was down there. I can't promise it'll work, though. Good luck, and be careful. I will. Okay, so the race figured out that we were actually going to beat them. Now we have to go all the way down to the bottom. And now we have to go all the way back up to the top. For a second, I thought that was a tentacle. And I thought there was going to be like an even bigger giant octopus. Yeah, pretty much. But that's also the way... Where am I going? What am I doing? Alright. That's also the way to the ship so we can escape. That's, that's the biggest problem. I don't know. Ooh. Good thing I'm wearing a scuba suit. What did that just do? I hope it's powerful enough to lift that heavy door. Weird. Smoke is too dense, it's hard to breathe. Put on your scuba suit! Sorry, that was really loud. You've literally been underwater. You can walk through some smoke. Also, if there's smoke, you should close that. Uh, maybe it's just red paint. It might not actually be blood. No, I think that's the bad guys. The bad guys are writing stuff in blood. One of the wraiths, I guess. Or the possessed people, like the girl when she was possessed, but now she isn't anymore for some reason. I don't think that's a thing. I disbelieve. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Look, see, water, we're in water. That must be the way to shaft three. 
Something was hung here, but one of the chain rings is cracked. It's blocking the valve, but it's too heavy to lift. And that's fair. That was an iron I-beam. They are very heavy. That must be the cart to shaft three, but it needs power to work. Aha! A chain. I don't think it will open underwater. Yeah, no, that's also fair. It's out of fuel. I need to get rid of the water before filling it up. Okay, so this has got to go here. Do I need a carabiner or can I just attach it? Let go. No, okay. Maybe like a carabiner or something. Oh, the shackle! That... Wait, what's going on over here? Interesting. Rope and hook, extinguisher, headphones, billboard, sea snail, overalls, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Including an extinguisher. And a seahorse and a wrench. Ooh, ooh, and a blowtorch. Do I get to keep all this stuff? Probably not. A crowbar. How come I can't keep the crowbar? I, I wouldn't think so, no. A whale. There's a billboard. There's an eel. The mechanism lacks a crank. Okay, that's where the crank goes. An anchor. Are we on a boat? Sea snail overalls and soda. Soda. I, for some reason, I was thinking I said seesaw. I'm like, no, sea snail. Sea snail. Oh, there's another eel. Eels are not things that you should mess with, by the way. Eels are very, um, bitey. Eels are also yummy, you are correct. I need this, though. <sighs> Alright, so now what order does this go in? Like this. And then this. Yep, and then this. All right. You're still not going to be able to lift that. I thought we were going to hook it to something. <laughs> oh, that was the drain. Yeah, I was not going to pull up that I-beam with one pulley. Even if it's a double pulley. Not a thing. Okay. A car key. Is this actually got fuel in it? Oh, it does. How convenient. Wow, that's pretty cool. Shaft three. Oh, I gotta start it first. Still not convinced stuff like this would have like a car key, but maybe it would. According to the evidence, this is the professor's last known location. Well, if it was flooded, he did. Ooh, that doesn't look friendly. Some of the hoist chains were torn. It won't work without them. It's pitch black over there. Yeah, that doesn't look pleasant at all. Look, it's a padlock. If only I had a crowbar. <sighs> I need something to slip under the window, like a crowbar. I could use that too. Or I could break the window. That is also a thing. A saw. I swear I can feel a draft coming from behind those crates. Up oh, the dolly lost to a wheel. This has got to be for this. Uh, is that a flare? Yes, that's a flare. Did that actually help us? Mm -hmm. Ah, that must be the dolly's wheel. Mm -hmm. Can I go back and take the chain that I was using in the next room? 
Well, of course not. That would be smart. Alright, so what did I get? I got the wheel for the dolly. Even though I don't think that's what this is called. That looks pretty cool. I wonder what's that in there. That looks like a shrine or something. But those shadows. What is this place? It's cursed and full of things you don't actually want to... That would totally work to be around. I found a chain. Okay. Chains don't stretch like that. Oh no! Is it? Oh, he dead. Professor Leon McKinnon. The missing professor. I should search for answers here. The legates are determined to find me. It's hard to continue my research when I'm constantly hiding from them. But I'm going to have to risk going out in the open to finish the right. Unfortunately, you didn't. <laughs> Real nice. Okay. Oh, that's that. There's something besides the body buried here. Yeah, I need that. Um, wouldn't so you think? This is where it started. Yeah, that'd be a smart thing to do. Oh, this must be his notes. The rite is less complex than I expected. The candles shouldn't be a problem. We have almost all the rune stones. However, I can't finish the paint because I don't know what the true silver component is. Plus a circle. Plus the circle, powerful artifact, and the demon figurine are also a problem. I can't find them. I think that answers I think that answers are near, but I'm missing something. Maybe Thomas will have an idea. I hope he remembers to cover his tracks before coming here. What and where is it? Sarcophagus cover. According to the writings, the right releases the demon from its figurine prison and renders it vulnerable to some artifacts of great power. It is quite dangerous, but it's also the only way to destroy the demon and send it back to hell. The circle of power drawn around the figurine should hold the beast long enough to do what's needed. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> the book says it's important to not scratch the circle, the circle because it will reverse the entire rite and put the demon back into its prison, renewing all seals. If that happens, the rice... the rice... The rite must be repeated because the demon is completely separated from this world and can't be destroyed. Scratch the circle, completely separated. Sounds like a good backup plan. Yeah, it kind of does. Release the demon. I'm not sure if it's wise, but what choice do I have? Looks like a few ingredients are missing. Water and silver. And this is the sarcophagus lid. There's something strange, even magical about the cover, but what? Why is there a pair of glasses? That's weird. All right, measuring tape, pocket clock, newspaper, ammonite, two brushes, a postcard, bracelet, pennant, scraper, and a bat, and a ladder and a snake. Okay, measuring tape. Ammonite, a pocket clock, pocket watch. Two of the ladder rungs are missing. Oh, that's the ladder there. Look, another crowbar. If only I had a crowbar. A brush, and another brush, and that's a blueprint, not a postcard, and that's a crab. There's the pennant. Let's see. What has that guy got in his mouth? Uh, okay. Ooh, that's creepy. Lad yeah, I know the ladder's missing some of its rings. Bracelet. Oh, there's a postcard. Or a rock? It kind of looks like it might be a rock. Maybe he was a vampire. 
scraper, a bat, and ladder rungs. One, two. Ah, I found a scraper. Yeah, we should move the body and like lay it s nicely somewhere. We made a ladder. We're not even going to use it, and we made a ladder. An could arrow. Could be the artifact of power that the professor wrote about? Well, it could be. And these must be the magic glasses, which we need to use over here. Okay. Wait here. What do you use? What do you use for? Switch between the colored lenses. Yeah, I would love to. How do I do that? Switch between the colored lenses and then rotate each lens to discern the complete symbol on the covered surface. Yeah, okay. So, like, there aren't... That made very little sense to me. I, I did. But I don't know why I did it. That's weird. Like, I'm just random things, I'm not supposed to make a random. But, like, I don't get it. Like, it seems like that should be correct. No, you know what? I don't understand. Ooh! A knife, and another stone, and whatever the heck this is. What is that? True silver. Okay, that must be. And now we need the bottle of water, which for some reason we are not to allowed to break the glass to get. That is so dumb. Dear Professor, I'm leaving the music box here. I have to return to the Center of Enlightenment because I forgot to take the cylinder. I'll join you at the excavation below as soon as possible. Thomas. He did not make it either. Oh. That would be the cylinder he was talking about. Okay. Now let's go make the rest of this potion. I guess this is the stuff to make the circle with. Ooh, and a key. Paint, yep, okay. Music box cylinder. Oh, there it is, right there. Blueprint, crowbar, helmet. Crystal, chisel, coral, spray, crab, saw. Crystal, spray, at glove. What do we need glove for? Oh, for the light bulb. Yeah, them things is hot. You do not want to mess with those, uh, even with gloves on. They are not normal light bulbs. Crowbar! Uh, bucket. Crab, chisel. Coral. I don't know what that is. Saw. Yeah, there was a crowbar there. That's one of the reasons I was getting mad. It's because there was, in fact, a crowbar right there. Alright. Oh, I need the wind-up key. Move the cylinder rings until they create the fitting image. Move one of the rings. I hate these. Why? Why is it so Okay. See? Okay. Wait. Mm. Yeah, I give up. I tried. Candle components. Molds. I've hidden them in the globe. Wax should be easy to find anywhere. Pigments, yellow, I'm sorry, red, yellow, blue. I think I could use those Chinese pigments that Logan has brought from China. I think I can get them all. Okay, now I've got to go make candles. Oh. Box of candles. That would be easier. 
Searchlight. It's a fact. Moraine. Moraine? What's that? Diving suit. Well, here's part of the diving suit. There we go. There's an ID. Um, I didn't actually read the things. Megaphone. Semaphore. That sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. A boy, shoe, and a fan. There's a shoe. An infectious disease, especially... What? A plague epidemic crop or blight. That doesn't make any sense. That's a fan. Oh, that's a semaphore. It's the thing that goes across a railroad thing. Megaphone. Where's the boy? There it is. Moraine. Moray. It's a moray. That is not how you spell moray. That is a moray eel. Not how you spell that. Now where's the ink? Can I interact with anything? Where's the ink? <laughs> Guess so. Alright. Where's the ink? Oh! That's silly. I found wax. Yay, I found wax. Wait, what else did I need? Do I have it written down? Paint... Special candles. Those were in the secret base thing. I thought there was another thing besides that. There was wax and pigments and yeah, a third thing. <laughs> oh, the molds are inside the globe. Hey, where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? Wait, what's this? Oh, well, that would have been useful earlier, I think. I guess I need a handle for that. And I need a dragon for that. But where did everybody go? Aren't they supposed to be watching you? I guess I still can't do anything down here. Huh. It's not hard to breathe. You're in a scuba suit! Alright, where am I supposed to be? Um, okay. I have to go back down. Figures. It's annoying me that this is just hanging there. Can't we close it now that we're done playing with this? Oh, the submarine. Okay, so... No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, gosh, my brain, you just Great, the Leggets are after me and I can't use my lab. Take the molds to your hideout. I'll use your lab after I lose my tail. Unfortunately, he didn't have the opportunity to do this. It's a snowflake ornament. Oh, I just clicked on that. And there's the molds. Oh, we get to do one of those. We have molds that are all different sizes. And... Wait, do they need anything else in here? I don't think so. No. Okay, so we have the molds. We do not have the dragon. The lair. The drawbridge. The sewers. I guess we get to go back to the sewers. This elevator is so irritating. <laughs> Oh, 
there you are. Do you know where my dad is? No. It's been hours since I've seen him. He was acting so strange and talking nonsense. I'm really worried about it. Tell him that I can see him. Okay. Well, that's super helpful. Did I find anything I can use for that? No, I did not. All right, let's go. I don't know how opening a box of cold is going to help me with the smoke. The water's hot and so are the chemicals. I need to cool them down to stop the toxic fumes. Again, you are in a scuba suit. Hmm. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, wait. It's not working. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, we need we need the ice from the observatory or the whatever it was. Thermal bag, three lollipops, a pine cone, sponge, puppet house, snake, shark, tree. Three-headed dragon. Alright, what do I need? I'm not paying attention. A thermal bag. Wow, that's super unuseful. I can mix paints here. I need to find crayons. And I need to erase something. Oh, weird. There's a jumping man, and a tree, and more paint. And another lollipop. That one looks gross. There's a pen. Oh, there's the other crayon. <laughs> I like how they clean the brush in between. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Oh, the thermal bag is... Oh. Horror! Horror! That's a good book title. Alright, what am I doing? Thermal bag, pine cone, sponge, house, snake, shark. Is that a snake? Oh, that's a pine cone. Wow, somebody run that and didn't do the X through it. Oh, there's a snake! Oh, he's so cute! There's a thermal bag. That's what we need for the ice. There's a shark. What else? There's a creepy spider. A sponge and a house. There's a house. And one more lollipop. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Is that a lollipop? No, I didn't think so. Where's the last lollipop? Oh, is nope, that's not it. That's not a lollipop. That's a candy cane. Hmm. Alright, let's go get the Man, I miss fast travel. Let's go go get the thing this way. Bag of ice. And then we can go back and make whatever it is stop doing whatever it's doing. Oh, and there's the dragon. Good. Can we turn the fan on now? No, I guess not. I have to clean up the air completely to use that kind of equipment. There That's we go. Better. I need the light on my side. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Let me go get the. Wow, everybody's gone again, huh? All right, I think we've got everything to make the thing. Okay. So now we have the candle molds and we have, let go. We have the paint, we have the wax. Make the candles according to the recipe. Mix the proper pigments to obtain the required colors, then measure their appropriate levels using the two tubes. You can get wax anywhere. <laughs> Put those in there and turn on the burner. And now I have wax. And the wax goes 
in here. Shouldn't I dye the wax first? All right, whatever. All right, so then we do colors. And then we pour the colors in the thing. Okay, so I need five yellow. That's easy. No, oh, do I have to do it here first? That's dumb. It's not how mixing colors works. You would have to add it. Never mind. Uh, let's see here. So then we have seven orange. Dump that down the drain. Oh, I guess I could have put the red in there. Duh. Seven orange. Then we need two green and three purple. So we need two green. Let's do that one first. Let go. Dump that out. And we dump that out. And then we need purple. Okay, and we need three purple. So, if I do this, and then I do that, that's five. And then I pour this down here. No, and I pour this in here. And then I pour that in there. And then I pour this in here. Is that right? We'll find out, won't we? Nope. Let's go. What I want to get is four and three. That gives me two. See, I could do two. Is this three? No. It's four. No, this is two. Next one. It would help if there were indicators on the side. Is that right? Yay! You were right, it was one. I knew I would get it. That would take a long time for candles that big Paint, to cure. Candles, runestones, and the artifact. I think I'm ready to face this foul demon. You can't stop the inevitable. You will join us. Why did I suddenly pass out? Why did I pass out? What? What has happened? Logan! Um... That's a cool lock. Is that a jump rope? No. What is that? Sledgehammer handle! And a steel cord. Oh! And a fuse for some reason. Okay, now we can breathe. It took him! The demon took my dad! You've got to help him. Please, you're my only hope. So, open- I can't open this grate. It's stuck. Oh. I don't know what to do. I have to find him. Hey, wait! Yeah, don't leave me down here. What? It's a bad idea. I need to stop the fan first. Yes, good plan. <laughs> 
I don't think that would work. I don't think that would work. Those grates are made of steel. All right, move. It's completely ruined. Yeah, I got that. Robert, he, he's gone. You what? won't take him from me. Well, excuse me. It lacks a pin. No? All right, fine. Tic-tac-toe. A golden pin. Is that this? All right. Yo-yo, pillow, spider, a scroll, chalk, a lion, a dolly, a pen, and a cap and the sun. Sun and a cap. Let's find a horseshoe? <laughs> Now I got a sledgehammer. Awesome. Oh no! Why are they staring at me? I mean... Well now I just have to do the ritual. What do they want from me? Well they probably want you... Wow, this is not... I don't understand what's going on either actually. Break the wall! Boom! That must be the wretched figurine the professor wrote about. The demon's prison. Okay, so now I get to paint and candles and a golden arrow. Oh, and the stones. Light up all the stones and figurine. Touching an object turns its glow on or off. Also affects others connected to it. Okay. Yeah, so. This seems like a bad idea. And I'm dead. Did you really believe that you could destroy me? You? You've done exactly as I wanted you to do. You were the only person my powers left untainted. The only one who is pure and innocent enough to complete the right. Frankly, I think I should thank you, my dear puppet. Take your stupid toy. It's worthless now. The bonds are weakening. Soon, I'll be free. Say farewell to Robert. He's mine now. That was, like, insanely possible. Wasn't it, though? I mean, he still exists now. You've saved me again. For better or worse. This is Husband. definitely worse. And I'm pretty sure I owe you a proper thank you. We've got to get out of here now. This place is falling apart. Prepare the boat. We'll take the survivors with us and meet at the Albion Marina. Get ready the boat. That's it. Okay, sure. I guess so.
Last time, elevator. To the marina! Oh, this doesn't look real... Uh, seaworthy. Measuring tape, oxygen mask, stethoscope. stethoscope. Ball of wire. Empty vial. Drill bit. Helmet. Helmet. Level and a flask. Oh, we have to do the whistle. What is that? Oh, whatever it is, it goes in there. I need a key. There's something under the coral. Here's a key. Don't lock your first aid kit, people. It's not a good idea. Radio, thermometer, what am I looking for? Empty file, umbrella, umbrella. How would you need an umbrella in an underwater city? Oh, it's just a picture. It's fair. Empty vial. Need some fuel. I have to hurry. It's too short to reach the tank. This battery looks damaged. The acid is leaking out of it. Yeah, it would be pretty damaged. It's unwise to start the pump before connecting the hose. Good plan. Uh, it's rusty enough to break down with a little help. Like if I had a sledgehammer. No, stop! Alright, now we connect the hose to the thingy doodle and we put gas in it. I don't know what's happening. I can't believe it's over. Or that we made it out alive. I'm such a lucky guy to have a lady here staring as you. I'd like to see that statement in writing. We'll make it official when we get home. I promise. All right. I think we should get going. Everybody's on board. I can't wait to feel the sun on my face. Ladies first. Okay, there's like a dozen people. And it seems the curse of the Leggetts is broken. Eden's residents are ordinary people once again. But they can't erase the memories of being under a demon's command. I can't imagine how horrible that feels. They'll need some time to sort out the pieces and put it all together. I guess they were tied up in those vines. Where are we taking them? To the surface, for a start. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy it's all over now. Oh no! That's it! I guess we escaped, but the bad guy uh, is going to possess ocean animals and whatever's inside the building, I guess? I mean, he can have it. <laughs> Nobody else wants it. Um, this seems like it kind of would beg for a sequel, but I don't think there is one. I think this is the only episode of this game. Wasn't quite Bioshock, but it definitely had the aesthetics of Bioshock. And man, I wish we had fast travel because walking around was a pain in the butt and that elevator was driving me crazy. But the people in the game tended to make logical choices and do useful things which oddly enough is not a thing that happens in these games very often so it was actually pretty good 
This one is actually available on a bunch of other things besides the computer too, which is where I'm playing it. I believe I even saw that it's on the Switch now. So if you want to play it yourself, you can, though you just watched the whole thing. You really can't do anything different. It would mostly be for the puzzles, I guess. And it's very probable that you are better at puzzles than I am. Ah, uh, so it was fun. I liked it. Uh, we played a little bit longer today than we normally do, but if we stopped at an hour and a half like we normally do, then we would have uh, had like a 25 minute episode. You can get wax anywhere. Artifice Monday is, they make really cool games. We'll have to do some more of those. They tend to have really high level art and scenery and stuff in their games. Um, and yeah, so, was that all the credits? Now we're just watching the bubbles raise. Yep, okay. Goodbye. And quit. So that was fun. That was a good one. Definitely more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really cheesy. The, late, the lead lady's voice acting was kind of Eh, but I guess, like, I don't know. It's not like they have giant budgets on these things or anything. Next time we can finish ha Haunted Hotel Eternity. And then we can do the next Mystery Case Files. And I guess we'll have to throw another one in there. I'm not sure what. We could do another one-off or we could start another series. All right, I guess we should be done now. I am Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!